Hello everyone. So, as we are dealing with the topics from mechatronics, today we will be going through one point that is different types of electric motors. As we have already gone through the uh, details of different electric drives or other electric drives and their details, the next point is the types of electric motors which we are going to use in this context. So basically, what is an electric motor? An electric motor is an electrical machine that converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. In normal motoring mode, most electric motors operate through the interaction between an electric motor's magnetic field and winding currents to generate force within the motor, right? So basically, electric motor will convert an electrical energy into a mechanical energy that is a rotating mechanical energy so a photo of cut section of a motor is shown here in this slide to have an idea regarding an electric motor so this is regarding electric motor we will be going through the different types that is the classification of electric motors so right now on the screen you are looking at the classification. So basically electric motors can be classified in two categories that is alternating current motors that is AC motors and direct current motors that is DC motors. So AC motors and DC motors these are broad two classification. Again AC motors can be classified as synchronous motors and induction motors. Induction motors are again have, have two types that is single phase induction motor and three phase induction motor. In DC motors, we can classify DC motors in two different categories that is separately excited DC motor and self excited DC motor. In again self excited DC motor, there are three types series, shunt and compound. So these are the broad classification and we will be going through the different types of these from uh, incoming slides. So first we will go through DC motors. So DC motors as the name implies they use a direct unidirectional current source of electricity for working. So DC means direct current. So basically the sources of electricity are battery or a DC power supply. So these are using unidirectional current for working when power is applied dc motors turn in one direction at a fixed speed they are optimized to run at fixed usually high rpms torque is highest at the rated speed and lowest at the low speeds almost all motors can be reversed inexpensive and commonly available so this is regarding the dc motors uh, we will go through the types of DC motors one by one from the next slide. So, first is PMDC that is permanent magnet direct current motor PMDC motor uh, in general we call it as a PMDC motor. The permanent magnet motor uses a magnet to supply field flux. Permanent magnet DC motors have excellent starting torque capability with good regulation. A disadvantage of permanent DC motor is they are limited to the amount of load they can drive. These motors can be found in low horsepower applications. Another disadvantage is the torque is usually limited to 150 of the rated torque to prevent demagnetization of the permanent magnets. Okay, so here the circuit diagram as well as a pictorial view of permanent magnet DC motor is shown. So we are having an armature here which is rotating these are the brushes connected to armature and these brushes are connected to a DC line voltage and the bracket like structure shown here is a permanent magnet. So the permanent magnet will create a magnetic field and the armature will be having winding in this 3D view you can see this is the stator magnets and this armature shaft is there and these are rotor coils or rotor windings actually which are wound on a 
armature and these are two brushes which can be seen here so these will be connected to the power supply and those will be rubbing against the armature and there will be a rotation of the armature when we are going to give the supply DC voltage to the motor right so this is regarding permanent magnet DC motor the next is series motor so in a series DC motors the field is connected in series with the armature as now shown here in this diagram uh, this is armature a1 a2 are the brushes and s1 s2 is the coil which is in series with the armature winding and dc line voltage is also shown and the field is wound with a few turns of a large wire because it must carry the full armature current the characteristic of a series motor is a motor develops a large amount of starting torque However, speed varies widely between no load and full load. Okay, so basically what happens here, the torque generated will be very large, but uh, speed is not constant. Uh, it is going to vary from no load to full load condition. Series motors cannot be used where constant speed is required under varying load. So as load varies, speed is also going to vary. If we need a constant speed for varying load, we cannot use this type of motors that they want to say additionally the speed of series motor with no load increases to the point where the motor can become damaged so we cannot run this uh, type of motor in no load condition as it may go to the very high rpms which may damage the armature or winding some load must be connected to series connected motors so as i said we need to have some load we cannot run this motor on no road condition so that we can avoid the damage of the motor. Series connected motors generally are not suitable for use in most variable speed drive applications. Okay. So this is regarding the series motors. So here it is a, a circuit diagram shown. Okay. So it is for series motors. The next type is shunt motor. Okay. In a shunt motor, the field is connected in parallel or shunt with the armature windings as shown in the diagram see here. The field is in connected within parallel. This is the armature winding and this is the uh, supplied voltage through the brushes and this is the shunt field. So, F1, F1 again. So, uh, here two variations are shown. One is uh, having separately excited. Uh, two windings are separately excited here and here it is a common source so only one source is available for DC line and again these are connected in parallel okay so in shunt motor the field is connected in parallel with the armature windings the shunt connected motor good speed uh, connected motor good speed regulation the field winding can be separately excited or connected to the same source within the armature as uh, with the armature sorry as shown in this circuit diagram an advantage to a separately excited shunt field is the ability of variable speed drive to provide independent control of the armature and field the shunt connected motor offers simplified control for reversing thus it's beneficial in regenerative drives here it is a cut section view of a shunt DC motor. Okay, so different components of the motor are shown here. Uh, like uh, major components are this is the armature uh, rotor. Uh, here it is the shaft. Okay, then this is the casing of the motor. Here we can see the winding uh, stator winding. This is, these are the stator windings that are available here okay so like why is this is the construction of a shunt motor the next one is compound motors compound motors have a field connected in series with the armature and separately excited shunt field so here you can see there are two different fields shunt field is also there and series field is also there so this is the compounding of series as well as shunt the field series provides better starting torque and the shunt field provides better speed regulation. 
so the advantages of both types that is series as well as shunt are combined in this compound type of motors so we can have a better starting torque as well as the better speed regulation in this motor however the series field can cause control problems in a variable speed drive applications and is generally not used in four quadrant drives so this was regarding the compound motors the next is uh, the major different next step that is uh, ac motors that is alternating current motors so electrical current reverses direction we know what is ac current uh, i need not go in the details of alternating current here so electrical current reverses direction that we know about ac current uh, the two parts uh, of the motor stator and rotor stator stationary electrical component rotor rotates the motor shaft speed difficult to control here this is the one characteristic of ac motors we can say uh, speed control is difficult and types there are two types synchronous motor as well as induction motor that we have seen already in classification this is the photo of a, uh, ac motor a representation only so we'll go through the types one by one first is the induction motor induction motor or asynchronous motor is the machine that converts alternating electric power to mechanical power by using an electromagnetic induction phenomenon there are two types of induction motors single phase induction motor and three phase induction motor single phase induction motor the single phase induction motors are generally found their use in low power requirements or domestic applications uh, like sailing fans mixer grinders portable power tools etc there we can we can use the single phase induction motors three phase induction motors are generally found for high power requirements like power drives for uh, compressors hydraulic pumps air conditioning compressors irrigation pumps and many more right so where we need high power applications there we can go for the three phase motors and for small or low power applications or domestic applications we can go for single phase induction motors uh, this is the diagram for induction motor so all the this is the assembled diagram so and the, here again the separate components this is the stator winding uh, inside the casing is shown and there are two different types of rotors are used uh, that is uh, wound type and squirrel cage type so this is uh, the representation of uh, induction motor uh, generally induction motors are uh, most times used or rather we can say variety of applications are available for induction motors the next type that is the synchronous motors these motors have the rotor rotating at the same speed as the speed of rotation of the stator current in other words we can say these motors don't have slip with the respect to the stator current these kinds of motors are used even in high precision positioning uh, positioning devices like modern robots they can also act as stepper motors so basically synchronous motors we can say them as uh, constant speed motors so here again uh, one diagram 3d diagram is shown for the synchronous type of uh, ac motor here we can see the motor shaft and brushes then slip rings then end shields are there rotor is there stator is also there so we can see different components of a synchronous motors basically motor will be having all uh, generally uh, main components will be common in all types of um, motors okay so this is regarding the synchronous motor which is an ac motor so now we are having uh, other few types of motors like uh, reluctance motor reluctance motor is a type of electric motor that in induces non permanent magnetic polar uh, on the ferromagnetic rotor the rotor does not have any windings torque is generated through the phenomenon of magnetic reluctance so it is called as a reluctance motor then hysteresis motor is there hysteresis produces the torque which is very tiny uh, used as a driver for electric clock small clock motors then stepper motor uh, it is a special type of synchronous motor 
it rotates number of degrees with each electric pulse so stepper motors which are very much needed in uh, different robotic applications then brushless dc motors a close similar of a permanent of a stepper motor with electric controllers then universal motors uh, the speciality of universal motor is it can be run uh, on both type of power that is dc power as well as ac power so if a series dc motor has a laminated stator frame it can be run effectively from an ac supply as well as dc supply so universal motors can be run using ac as well as dc supply so that's why they are called as a universal motors so these are a few uh, types of motors which are generally used uh, in uh, different fields okay so these are some uh, photos of different types of motors uh, i have collected here again that photos taken from the internet only so all different types of motors which we have already gone through in previous slides are shown here uh, okay uh, we can identify uh, which type of motor it is from the uh, this uh, name plate of this motor which is available on every motor basically uh, for larger motors it is given all the ratings of motor are represented on the this name plate of this motor so we can easily identify uh, different ratings that like uh, what are what may be the rpm what is the current rating what is the voltage rating okay these are a dif uh, few different uh, criteria based on which we are going to uh, differentiate or uh, rather uh, uh, selection criteria as we already gone through the selection criteria for electric drives in previous video uh, there are few uh, points based on which we need to uh, select a motor for particular application for our application uh, we can choose motor based on what may be the uh, power supply it whether it is dc or ac then what is the rating uh, what will be the higher uh, highest voltage available uh, what will be the current available uh, that can be also considered while selecting a motor okay uh, whether to use uh, go for single phase induction motor or three phase induction motor based on again uh, what is the power required or horsepower or what is the hp required uh, for the particular application uh, that also to be studied so uh, this was regarding the different types of electric motors which we are going to use in uh, different uh, applications again uh, considering mechatronics uh, we need electrical drives as an output of a system where different types of motors will be used uh, for um, actuating or rather as an actuators um, which will be at the output side of a automation system so just uh, bring the picture of a typical mechatronic system in your mind uh, you will find that uh, the, uh, the different components which are present in the mechatronic system out of which the electrical motor part come at the output side or actuator side so output uh, these electrical motors are actually the output of a mechatronic system according to the input given by the sensor there will be some uh, program will be carried out or rather run in the control unit and output is provided to the actuators uh, one of our type of output is electrical motor so it will take an action uh, in automation so this was regarding the electrical drives used in mechatronics uh, in general we are we use these different electrical drives but again uh, our point is regarding the mechatronics so thanks for watching